watch y'all put like this. Okay. You're gonna turn me up a little bit. Turn ooh, turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit, gangster. This how low you, this how high you go? Oh, you suck. <laughs> y'all welcome back to my channel if you do not know i'm promise to raw baby nah hold on this is, this is supposed to be a sad sentimental video i'm over here playing hold on, hold on. what's up <laughs> welcome back to my channel once again it's all of promise representing make sure you like comment and subscribe before you get in this video let's get into it y'all um if you do not know me outside of youtube well youtube i have I'm just now starting to get back consistent, so you guys are going to, you know, start knowing way more about me, like, YouTube is my life, so I will definitely be letting y'all know everything about me. Look, to all the haters, to all the people that be acting like they don't like Promise, but want to be checking on Promise, YouTube is where to go, girl. If you want to know what Promise is doing, go to my YouTube. But I came out here to say, because I just want to talk about where I've been. I've been going off YouTube, I've been going on social media, like, I've been in my yay okay and i just want to talk about where i've been period your girl being gone i'm doing a six month plan if you don't know what a six month plan is it's basically like falling back and really getting into it um like this video i might cry during this video i don't know i'm very emotional person i'm a pisces march 7 2006 yes i plan and i'm about to start my period so i'm very emotional very emotional i'm starting a six month plan if you don't know what a six month plan is it's basically like i just said i'm repeating myself my bad um falling back and getting into yourself um i deactivated my instagram account i don't be on snapchat like that i don't be on snapchat in general if i'm on snapchat i'm literally posting like go watch my new youtube video i just posted or promoting myself i do be on instagram on my hair page because that's my hair account so like when people want their hair done they gotta text me you know and I'm trying to get better at my hair because, you know, you, you can always get better at something. So, you know, every anybody I follow on my hair page is motivational people. Like, two girls that I follow on there is YouTubers that I like. Um, Hairstylists, like, I'm really, like, you know, regaining myself. Um, I haven't been wearing makeup like that. Um, I do, like, have my times, but... For these last weeks, I haven't been wearing makeup, lashes. If I do want a little lash, I wear mascara. I haven't been getting my nails done. Um, I am finna get my nails done though, baby. I, I'm sorry. I, I need to get my nails done. I'm sorry. But um, I've been really trying to get back in tune with myself. I feel like social media really, you know, takes a toll on people's lives. And I make, I feel, I feel like social media is a drug that pulls people and makes them forget about themselves and i feel like that was a drug i was enhancing and i'm very spiritual so i'm not like jehovah's witness none of that i'm i'm not religious i'm just very tapped in and i feel like i was losing myself you know um i was in a dark hole i lost my brother um he passed away may 23rd 2021 it's going on two years um you know my parents was divorced i wasn't making no money i was very unhappy i was losing weight like i was really in like a deep hole like and so being on social media was like a runaway you know like getting cute all the time taking all these pictures and putting on makeup to cover it up like i was really hurting y'all and i'm coming on i'm coming on here to say and saying all this just to like spread awareness like because i know there's girls girls just like me that's going through it and don't know how to say it, don't know how to speak on it don't know how to move about it don't know how to make themselves feel better um i was smoking really heavy if you do know me i'm not a smoker but when i was going through that through all that i was smoking like i was smoking heavy um it came to a point where I had to tell my mom, like, I didn't want to, but yeah. Um, smoking my pain away, like, when people be like, I'm fighting demons, or that's, that's really real, y'all. I was just going through it. It took me a minute to realize, like, 
you know, promise it's either you or them. And you know, you die alone. So I had to choose me this time. And I knew YouTube is something I want to blow up off of. YouTube is something I want and I'm going to accomplish because I know it's meant for me. I know there's girls out there that I can, you know, linger on and give them support and give them advice and yeah there's always gonna be hating there's always gonna be haters in anything you do so you either do it or you don't because you die alone and ain't nobody gonna remember you i'm a little everywhere right now so forgive me if i'm like here to here to here to here um but basically this six month plan i will be going off instagram i'm not gonna give you like specific day when i'm coming back because um yeah snapchat like i said tiktok i don't be on tiktok either y'all youtube is what i really be on um now don't get me wrong tiktok i will be back on tiktok don't get it messed up i'm just trying to balance myself out right now like i'll be back on social media i will get back on social media it won't even be like it won't be like how it was when i was on it you know what i'm saying because i have to gain self-control and i feel like i wasn't having enough self-control um, I broke up with my boyfriend, like, I was going through a lot, and just a lot of mental stuff, and my anxiety is really bad, I had to find myself again, so, the reason why I cut back on makeup and stuff, because I feel like it was hiding who I was, and it be, when I, when I was wearing a lot of, <sighs> the tears just came in down calm down when i was wearing a lot of makeup and stuff it like made me forget about myself you know when i was always wearing a wig or something it was making me forget about myself so it, yeah it motivated me to take this time back and ever since i've done this um i've been feeling way more happier way more energetic i've been waking up on time i'm keeping up with my grades um I'm in keeping up with YouTube. Um, I'm getting closer with God. Um, I just been to myself and I'm vibing. I'm feeling it. And I'm glad. I feel like this was a wake up call most definitely. That takes a lot though. Because social media, you really have to have self-control when it comes to deleting social media. Because it's so it's so addicting. You know, like before I, before I deleted it. Hold on, let me let me grab something. Before I deleted it, I was going through so many thoughts like what do people forget about me or da, da, da. this is what I had this is what I told myself and hopefully this like help y'all. Rule number one if you go miss it for six months to go work on yourself and you eventually come back and people forget about you, that means that was never meant for you. And you come first because the so this is what i had to tell myself too because i was very big on love i'm very a loving person i love affection um and i was so big on wanting to be loved because i didn't love myself so i was looking i was looking for love through like people and it and i was girl but yeah, so I don't mean to cry on here. I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. Um, but yeah, so it, I came to a realization like, girl, we got to wake up. We got to, you know what I'm saying? Like we losing ourselves. And um, I am 16 and my goal is when I'm 22, I'm very like successful. Well, if I wanted to retire, I could. And that's very possible. Like there's teachers when I tell them I want to do YouTube blog for YouTube, they always tell me like, think of a plan b or it's always somebody doubting me and i always been doubted since i was like in elementary so it makes me more hungry for this youtube stuff and it makes me want to be more committed to it it makes me want to be com more committed to myself um i'm very in tune with myself like i don't care about nothing right i don't care about nothing that's not benefiting me like if you can't help me get on where i'm trying to be we why are you talking to me i don't care about no boy not liking me i don't care about no girl not liking me like i don't care about none of that because at the end of the day friends are gonna come and boys are gonna come god got every god got somebody for everybody you know what i'm saying so 
all that trying to look for love let it come to you fall back let it come to you focus on yourself you know what i'm saying because you can't love nobody if you don't love yourself and that's just rule number one and that's why i broke up with my boyfriend because well i it was a repeated cycle because like i said it took me a long time to get to this spot where i am now like this mindset but when I was trying to shift to this mindset, I kept like going back and forth with my boyfriend. I kept breaking up with him and getting back with him. And eventually I did break up with him and I finally let it go. And I found this quote and it was um, on Instagram and it was something like, God seeing you couldn't let this relationship go. So he made it walk away from you because you were gonna settle for something. I forgot what it was saying, but it was so real and i was like yeah that part um also music too like music brings different vibrations like if you listen in a i'm gonna shoot you kill you in your face and blah, blah, blah. now don't get me wrong i'm on a new level but i still listen to my shoes bang bang okay that you can take somebody off the hood but you can't take the hood out of them okay okay but yeah, I love me a good little, you know, slub, you know what I'm saying? But you got, it's a balance. It's a balance in everything you do. That's why I say, I'm going to still be on social media. I'm just going to balance it better. You know, I'm going to still wear makeup, but I'm going to balance it better. I'm going to still wear my lace fronts, but I'm going to balance it better. It's a balance. You can't be doing that every day. And th being in my natural state, like my hair and my face, my nails, no lashes, I'm very like, it brings out more of a feminine from me and I like that feeling you know because before I was in this I felt like I could only get this feminine y'all I'm so emotional I don't know if y'all can tell but my voice is very shaky um I couldn't get this feminine so I feel like I couldn't get this feminine side without that so I'm glad that I'm in this mindset God been working for me so yeah but I wanted to show y'all if you're trying to do the six month journey like me, delete social media, fall back, get into yourself, get a notebook. Get a notebook. I literally write everything in here. Um, this is my six month goal plan. It says YouTube, driver's license, good grades, getting better at hair, learning to accept and move on, being happy with myself and confident, being close with my father, Jehovah, and saving money. That was my six-month goal plan. Um, YouTube and being consistent, driver's license, because I've been driving illegally. So, you know, I got to step it up. Good grades. I'm already on that, but last year I was failing. But this year I plan on having good grades, and I want to get better at hair because, yeah, I know I'm not perfect, so I want to get better. Um, learning to accept and move on um i've been learning i've been learning that too like learning to just accept and go with the flow because you don't want to stress yourself out in on nothing you can't control you know what i'm saying like that's like me killing a spider and getting mad that spiders keep coming in like why you keep coming in i can't get mad there's so many spiders out here i just gotta let it be what it be was that a good example mm-hmm but yeah, um, being happy with myself and confident, I'm already on that, baby. What? And I want to say something. Being confident in yourself is such a like goal prime thing because ooh, when I was confident with myself, everything used to get to me. Like you can say the littlest thing, like, oh, promise, you got a pimple on your head, or your lace showing, or you this, you that, you that, and I would be like. God, really and i start overthinking but now that i'm confident in myself and i'm very like accepting you can call me ugly and i'm gonna still be popping like what's happening because i know i'm bad you ain't gotta tell me i know the truth you ain't gotta sit up here and put my head up you know people that's not confident need reassurance all the time i don't need that you can have that okay i don't need the research because i you know what i'm saying so yeah um yeah, I would say write down your six months plan. Write down stuff you want to accomplish. Um, I wrote down YouTube and I just wrote what I want to accomplish in YouTube, what I want to accomplish. And I just wrote down all the things I wanted to accomplish. Um, and then I wrote down what will distract me from my from achieving my goals. And I said, boy, social media, my emotions and my feelings is something I can't control and not, not wanted to get up because of laziness and wanted to stay in my comfort zone how to stay consistent write daily tasks remember why you're doing this read plan every day remember your why 
and my why is i'm doing this because i owe myself this and i have sisters i have to lead by example and females look up to me i have to win this time i got to make sure if my mom leaves my siblings are taken care of or my father and i made a promise to my big brother i wouldn't i would make it long live sergio and my baby sister needs a good role model it look to look up to i'm gonna take her under my wing raise her as mine okay so take that time y'all um like i said if you are a female going through it and you feel like you lost confused you don't know what you're doing with your life and you feel like you just doing it to be seen or you just want to fit in cut it back cut it back go ghost and don't be one of them girls that you know what i'm saying post on social media i'm going ghost i need to do this i need to focus on myself don't be one of them girls baby go ghost and mind your business when i went ghost on social media i didn't do i didn't i didn't oh i'm going ghost and i'll see y'all later i didn't do none of that i deuces deleted y'all ain't i left my story up there and went ghost deuces i don't really care to be known I don't, I don't really care. I don't, I love my city. I'm from there. But it's like, what do I have to prove to y'all? Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I feel like I'm not saying I'm better than nobody because I'm not better than nobody. There's always somebody out there that's better than you or doing something you're not even doing. But I feel like I'm on a different mindset and I feel like until somebody can match me, we can be close, but I'm really big on winning right now. So anything that's like pulling me down, I'm big on backup. Social media, I'm telling you, take a break from that, y'all. Take a break from that. Don't be acting like you listening to Jenna Aiko and you all peaceful and you did a little candle and crystal shopping, baby, it's... Cure, cure your insides um smoking stop smoking 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 is like smoking is good cool weed but you gotta think it's only curing how you feel in the moment you need to learn how to cure yourself in general you need to learn how to cleanse yourself deep within so you don't have to depend on weed you know what i'm saying so it's a lot that goes to healing yourself and that's why i will be dropping videos y'all i tell i'm telling y'all i will i am going to help y'all because anybody any of my subscribers are my supporters i look at them like my family because you guys are helping me and i'm helping you and a person that's helping each other it's like this so i look at y'all like we're best friends we're best friends now i'm gonna help you you help me you know what i'm saying so we got this y'all but i just want to say where i've been i mean i've been good i'm alive i'm happier than i've ever been i don't know when i'm coming back to like instagram yet i when i do be downloading snapchat or like tiktok i'll be immediately i'll be already ready to delete it because when you step back from the world you look at it different it's like let me give y'all an example. So, in the circle, you're in the circle, right? You're standing in the circle with a whole bunch of people. Y'all looking at each other. Y'all looking at the floor. So, y'all don't see nothing around. Y'all just staring at the floor. But me, I peeked up for a second and I seen like there was colors. I'm a really deep thinker. So, listen to what I'm saying. Carefully, okay? The people that think inside of a box are not going to understand what I'm saying. So, if you think inside the box and you average... I ain't for you. I'm going to just be straight up with you. So, listen. Imagine you, everybody in a circle, right? Everybody's looking at the floor. And everybody's just paying attention to the floor. Nobody's looking up. Nobody's looking around. They look at their surroundings. Everybody's on looking at the floor. This is what I did. I looked up and I seen my surroundings. And I'm like, oh, this is pretty. So, I stepped out of the circle and I went to the real world. And then when I came back to the circle, it's like, y'all y'all not even experiencing light. So I'm, I don't even want to be around y'all. That's how I feel when I download social media now. Because I've been gone 
So when I come back and see y'all still doing the same thing, y'all ain't really talking about nothing. Y'all still on the same stuff. Y'all talking about how y'all running up a bag, ain't really running up a bag. Y'all talking about I got the baddest chick or I'm fly. Whatever y'all be talking about, y'all ain't really doing nothing. That, that don't impress me. So it's like, I'm gone. Like, I don't, I don't even want to be around that. Like, I really feel like I'm not meant to live in Portland. I'm not meant to live here. I'm supposed to be where all the famous dudes hoopers at. And I am going to get there one day. I got to work myself up. That just motivates me. Because I know I'm not, I'm not meant to be here. Promise to raw. Promise all love. Promise is not meant to be here. <sighs> Let me stop saying it like that. Because, you know, power of the tongue. But, um, yeah. I love y'all, man. I really do. All my supporters, my 197, I love y'all. I dearly love y'all. Um, to all the females that was in a spot that's in a spot right now that I was in, reach out to me. Um, text me in my comments. Text me. Put a comment down below, like, "Hey, girl, like, drop this video and da da da." Because I promise you, I will be back on social media. I'm not disappearing forever, but when I will be back, it's on some. Yeah, y'all thought I disappeared. Like, that's how I'm gonna come when I come back. I'm not telling y'all because I wanted to be unexpected, okay? Okay, okay, but yeah, listen, y'all. That was a lot I was talking about. I hope y'all caught on. I have, yeah, I talk a lot and a lot be going on in my mind, so um, I just be saying everything that come out of my mind. I'm, I'm trying to learn not to do that. That's also in my six month plan. I'm trying to learn like stop, breathe, and go. Stop, breathe, and go. Cause I just this how this is how my mind is all the time. And I'm trying to learn how to like do this. But it takes time and it takes patience and it takes like, you know. But we in there. I want y'all to know stay happy. Really stay close to God, bro. Like you don't even have to be like all churchy. Go to church and be a Jehovah's Witness and be a um, what is it? A Christian, whatever. You don't got to do that, cause I'm not none of that. I'm not religious. I'm I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I'm tapped in. Okay, put my hands together, talk to him, write down your feelings. If nobody there to talk to, you, write it down. Listen to music that motivates you. Find what you want to do in life, like. Do something that's going to make something out of yourself. When you leave this world, you want to leave a mark. And a good mark. Not no mark like, oh, yeah, he was Ben and Cornish shooting. A nah, leave a good mark that's like, oh, yeah, she's inspired. Like, she was really about her money. She hustled for everything she worked for. Like, be do something with your life, y'all. Like, and if you are trying to look for all these dudes to find love, you come first. These boys will come later. You know what I'm saying? Like, find yourself first. Because, Lord knows, if I wanted to go do my little thought stuff right now, oh, I, baby, I could. I could go jump on the block right now. But I'd rather not because I want to wait for that right one to get my all to. You know? So, when I do find the right one, I can give my all to him and love him. And he can love me and we just a power couple. But until then, I'm finna be working myself up. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I just wanted to let y'all know what's happening right now. Um, yeah. I love y'all, man. I'm excited. I feel like it's only up from here. For real. For real, for real, for real. Woo! I didn't cry, y'all. I'm a real OG. What you mean? You thought I was gonna cry? You thought I was going to cry? No, I ain't going to cry. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna go ahead, lay down. I just got off of work, 12-hour shift. Get to the bed, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, I talk so much. I need to close it out. I love y'all. Stay blessed. You come first. Forget all that rah-rah. If they ain't motivating you, deuces. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And be part of the game. Love y'all.